Tip is up, controlled by Michigan State, and we are underway. Zach Sardinic, Lexi Ayala, Veronica Bolanos, glad you joined us here at the Breslin Center. Kamaria McDaniel controlling the basketball. Tough shot off the glass, too strong, and Sonano controls the glass as she so often does for this Iowa team. McDaniel on that last one had the space to shoot that, decided for a drive, but she needed that one extra step if she wanted to get all the way to the rim. Gabby Marshall and hounded by Hageman. Clark trying to get some space. Joiner all over, pass inside. Sonano working on Parks. The footwork and the finish from Monica Sonano. Sonano's footwork is outstanding. And the thing with Sonano is she doesn't need counter after counter after counter move. Joiner thought about a three. Clark, good closeout. McDaniel mid-range, off the mark. Rebound, tipped out of bounds. It stays with Michigan State. I don't know about that one. Well, they talked it over and they change it. Ball does go to the Hawkeyes. I think that's the right call. Looked like Joyner was the last to touch it. Spartans went into that diamond press. The Hawkeyes able to break it with ease. Sonano down low, poked away by Parks. Marshall, the top of the key. Michigan State trying to deny the ball from Caitlin Clark. Hawkeyes having to go somewhere else. Martin for three, pure from the left wing from Kate Martin. And Kate Martin is a guard who is lethal from beyond the arc. It's just some days that she goes away, but when she doesn't think twice about that shot, it's money. Hageman puts her head down, gets to the bucket and finishes to put Michigan State on the board. Hageman has such a quick first step. She loves that driving and slashing game. Down low, Martin in trouble, finds Sonano on a nice cut. Sonano, all she needed right there was a tough, strong rip through, and that's all she did. Matilda Eck, deep triple off the glass. Eck, extremely deep, but zero hesitation. She says, Caitlin Clark, who? Both teams really trying to involve the post players early. Clark gets a screen, pulls up, wing triple, got it. You cannot give Clark an inch, a centimeter of space on screens with the ball in her hand. She's going to shoot that right away if she gets any spacing whatsoever. Going to the bucket on Martin. Stops, pops, gets the roll. McDaniel with the flick of the wrist. That's that shooter's touch. Right back down the court. Clark finds Warnock. And right after I said Michigan State was playing good transition defense, they just didn't get back in time on that one. Defense is all about who's better conditioned, better disciplined, and just wants it more. And that cannot happen. That's off a... Made bucket, good back cut by Eck, but couldn't finish in a foul. It didn't matter. Clark was driving, she was dishing, she was shooting. She had 35, but the Spartans found the win. <laughs> had a big roll off the bench for this team as a freshman. Hawkeyes break the breast quickly, but a miscommunication. And a look at Susie Merchant in her 16th year at the helm of this Michigan State program. Helped this team with some big time accomplishments over the last 16 years. Trying to weather the storm, good back cut. Joyner with the floater. And Joyner with the laser focus. Pushing all the way and fouled by Ayralt. Just under 83% from the free throw line this season. She shoots a lot of them. I also talked to Coach Bluter a little bit about the pressure that's kind of on Caitlin Clark for being one of the faces of women's basketball as a whole. And Bluter told me, you know what? A lot of players would shy away from that and get scared of that pressure, but Clark is even better with that pressure. Eck too strong, Alexander couldn't bring down the board. It's Clark again. Dribble handoff, Warnock. Clark now working on Eck. Stolke gets it back to her, fading away triple. Is short. And the Spartan crowd will let her hear it for that one. You cannot give enough credit to Michigan State defense right now. Fisher with a nice cross, couldn't finish. Another offensive rebound, Alexander, spinning into traffic and kicks it out. Good board by Alexander. No box out from Iowa. Kick to the wing, Hageman three, doesn't fall. And Caitlin Clark with another rebound. Clark already with four boards and another travel. Vischer thought about the three, got Clark in the air. Good recovery from Clark, but Vischer can't sneak it over the top of the rim. 
Clark already with five boards. Hesitation move off the glass, doesn't fall. Halleck pushing the other way for Michigan State. Aralt tried to leave it for Vischer and turns it over. Ah, Aralt has to capitalize. She can't make mistakes like that at a time like that. Four on one leads to a bucket for Molly Davis. And that's Iowa just converting points off of turnovers. But still left Central Michigan is the all-time leading scorer by points per game. McDaniel got her own board and is fouled. And Zach, going back a little bit to Iowa's Molly Davis. It's a really interesting story, actually, how she got over. And she was the coach that recruited Molly Davis out of high school. So when they saw that Davis went into that transfer portal, they got a hold of her right away. She's been a good addition to this Hawkeye team. Veteran shooter is adding another offensive weapon. Clark off the screen. Spartans double it. Clark trying to direct traffic and it's thrown away. McDaniel doesn't have numbers, she'll push anyways. Hesitation, doesn't fall. I would have liked to see McDaniel take that one all the way to the rack if you're gonna take it for yourself. You're already two feet away from the basket with the jump shot, just get all the way in there. Caitlin Clark slowing things down, shot clock is off. All guys will go at six. Clark down low, Sonano, good move, and another bucket for Monica Sonano, close to the rim. It's a tack on, it's a five point lead for the Hawkeyes, 18 to 13. Spartan offense got cold toward the end of the quarter, but the defense keeping them close. 18 to 13, Hawkeyes after one, right here on Big Ten Plus. Yeah, Zach, when asked about the tough competition, that is Iowa after practice yesterday. Coach Merchant said that they've already faced some of the best teams the Big Ten has to offer against Indiana and Michigan. And after the loss against the Wolverines, the Spartans weren't just upset, they were mad. Thanks, Veronica. Spartans unable to hit to start the quarter. And not to mention, to Veronica's point, a really close loss to number 13 ranked Maryland, a really close loss to number three ranked Ohio State. McDaniel found an opening, can't knock it down. Marshall able to bring it in, finds Clark. That was a good open shot by Michigan State and McDaniel just couldn't get it to drop. Look at some of the numbers from Caitlin Clark last year. Back-to-back 30-point -back triple-doubles. Look at some of the names on that graphic. My goodness, but a name I didn't see was Steph Curry, and that's who I think as Warnock drops in two down low. Those feet are constantly moving, finding those open pockets, or hula hoops as I call them, to get spacing and score. High praise for Clark. Beautiful find from Hageman to Alexander. Hageman being a pass-first mentality PG right there on that possession. Good textbook, drive into the paint, force the defense to collapse in on you and dish. Not to be outdone, Kate Martin dropping a dime to Sonano. And the Hawkeye lead back to nine. Michigan State needs to send a second player for help after Sonano's first move. Kimball, long two, got it. ESPN's midseason player of the year. Bounces it into Stalky. Freshman trying to split the double team. Couldn't finish it. Alexander rips down the board. Good D by Alexander to keep those hands straight up, playing clean. Tori Osmond into the game for the first time for the Spartans. Vischer driving, kicking, Kimball again. This time she got it from three. A spark off the bench, Abby Kimball with five. This is that point in the game where Michigan State has got to get a chip on their shoulder, pedal to the metal type of mentality because I was not going to shoot this poorly from beyond the arc the entire game. Stalky with the basketball. Clark trying to work on the freshman Kimball. Warnock throwing it into the lane, has it taken away by Vischer. Up ahead for Kimball. Shot inside, gets it to fall. Seven for Abby Kimball, matching her career high. And off of a turnover by Iowa, Spartans turning defense into offense, and 
that pass, that turnover by Iowa, you have to lead the cutter. You cannot pass behind them. Davis stops the run, quiets the crowd. She's a player that can come in as backup PG for Caitlin Clark, or she can move over to that two, three guard spot and shoot the basketball. Kimball, again. Woo. This one doesn't fall. Skates off the front of the rim. Hawkeyes trying to weather the storm. Clark spinning, throwing up a circus shot, and one. And Clark finally gets one of those to drop. She imposes her will. Watch here as her strength just dips that left shoulder into the defense, gets her eyes locked on the rim, and finds that money spot on the backboard. Clark misses the free throw. Hageman with the basketball. Seven point deficit, McDaniel back into the game. Goes up and she will head to the free throw line. McDaniel, 63% from the free throw line on the season. And McDaniel, she has been such a great addition to this Spartan team, the transfer from Baylor. She only averaged 1.9 points per game with Baylor after sitting a season out with a knee injury. She comes into East Lansing and is killing it. Sonano. Finds Marshall. Michigan State has to take advantage of these minutes with Caitlin Clark not on the floor. Marshall, wing three. Too strong. Fight for the rebound goes out to Michigan State. Good box out by Alexander. Ceiling. Matilda Eck gets the inbound. McDaniel, three pointer, straight on and straight in. McDaniel, I could tell that shot was money from the second she touched the ball. Her feet were set and ready before the ball even touched her hands. Her patience with that shot, she just knew it was going in the second that left her fingertips. All guys go to the post. Kick out, three-pointer, Clark short. Rebound Michigan State. Spartans can tie or take the lead here. Trailing by two. The freshman Theron Halleck. On the drive, beautiful dish and a tie ball game. Halleck, oh my goodness, she has adjusted so well to the college level. And Alexander fouls Kate Martin. Halleck, see, she seriously has adjusted to the college level and the pace is so much quicker. And here comes Halleck, just ready to go. About 11 and a half seconds between the shot clock and the game clock. Halleck tried to give it to Eck, too strong. Now the shot clock's off, and the Hawkeyes can hold for the final shot. Oh, and a chest pass in the air on a cut is always hard to catch. You want to receive a bounce pass on that. Hawkeyes went at six at the end of the first quarter. They'll go at seven here in the second. The kick, Warnock triple. Too strong, rebound Eck. Up to McDaniel, heave from half court. Aria McDaniel and Michigan State leads at the break. And McDaniel with the tongue out like Jordan. She said, give me that money. We got three balls for you everywhere here at Redmond Center. Amaria McDaniel brings the fans to their feet. She's got 32, or she's got 12. The Spartans in front, 32-31 at the break. The Spartans with the basketball to start the second half. As the game has gone on, this building has gotten even more into it. An electric crowd on this Wednesday night in East Lansing. Matilda Eck with the basketball. Pulls up for a triple, knocks it down to start the half. Matilda Eck from three. Eck, oh my goodness, hand down, man down. A body was there, but the hand wasn't in Eck's shooting vision. Biggest lead of the night so far for Michigan State at four. Caitlin Clark trying to feed Sonano. Got good positioning, perfect pass, and an easy layup for Monica Sonano. Was doing a good job at playing help the helper and bringing that help defense, not on the last possession. Illegal screen on Tyre Parks. Lisa Bluter is out there, another look. Seems like she just kind of leaned into it a little bit. The guard has got to wait to go through and use that screen until it's set. Caitlin Clark with the basketball. Hawkeyes can tie or take the lead. Sonano has it. Tried to bounce it into Clark. And for maybe the first time today, you see a little bit of frustration 
start to seep out of Clark, but she hurry up, checks herself, and says it's okay to Sonano. McDaniel, elbow jumper too strong. Rebound tipped around, another offensive board for Alexander, and Matilda Eck makes the Hawkeyes pay. Second chance points are huge. Michigan State never gives up on crashing offensive boards as Hageman gets a steal here. Oh, oh and Hageman is down, and they will blow this one dead. Hageman oh, in a no. lot of pain. A hush comes over the Breslin Center. Oh my gosh, Hageman. She is such a huge, important piece to this team. Diddy Hageman still being tended to on the floor, being helped to her feet. Oh, this stuff breaks my heart, That Literally, I have tears in my eyes right now. So good to see her up and you know getting a standing ovation, but she's hopping on one leg right now, and tears are strolling down her face. You never want to see any athlete go down like that. And having to adjust to yeah. the college level in a big way, well, she's going to have to really adjust if Michigan State wants to hang on to this five-point lead. And Didi Hageman heading to the locker room. McDaniel off the screen, three-pointer. Doesn't get the bounce, another offensive rebound from Alexander. Meanwhile, Iowa with just two. Alexander can't hit the first free throw. That's the first missed free throw. Alexander hits the second. And watch Let's again look at here it. as Clark. Ooh, yeah, it, did. it might have. Break for Iowa. Can they take advantage? You know it. Caitlin Clark knocks down the triple. First time now today hitting double digits. She has 10 points off that three. 71 consecutive games in double digits for Caitlin Clark. Pass down low. Alexander missed the bunny. Trying to snag the board, but Stokey wrestles it away. Alexander, just a menace down low on those offensive boards. She didn't get that one, but what a fight. Good defense from the freshman Halleck. The kick, Marshall for three, got it! And we are tied. A burst from the Hawkeyes to even things at 39. Gabby Marshall, just a 23% three-point shooter. She cashes it. Inbound right back to Halleck and one! There's a lot of pressure on her, especially with Hageman out, and she's stepping up to the challenge. Halleck can't hit the free throw. Throws a bounce pass to Martin. The swing, Marshall thought about the three. Extra pass, Davis drive, kick back out. Marshall triple, another one. Gabby Marshall with a pair of tray balls and the Hawkeyes back in front. Shot fake on the feet of the defense and then defense collapses inside. She finds Marshall outside. McDaniel sees a matchup she likes. Now we're seeing another one of those defensive matchups on Clark. Stalky goes into Alexander and finishes through contact. Clark can never get comfortable. She can never get used to, okay, this is how this player plays defense because it's constantly changing. Eck on the drive, gets inside and draws the foul. Eck. She averages 12.9 a game and the sophomore, wow, what a year she had last year. She's continuing that. Just have a quick first step and she found the spacing but just couldn't get it to drop. Clark coming around the screen. Turnaround jumper is good. She's perfect from the field today. Joiner with a triple to put Michigan State back in front. That's tough. That's three on Alexander, but Susie Merchant's trusting her. Marshall couldn't hit her third in a row. Comes down to Michigan State. Aroll stepping into a wing triple. Too strong. Clark brings down the board, trying to push for Iowa. Spinning into the lane, hanging and finishing, Caitlin Clark. Clark here, she's just read and reacting. She's not thinking twice, she's playing off of body awareness. Two of three from the line on the night. Alexander's hands are everywhere right now. Michigan State had numbers, Ayrault tried to thread a bounce pass. And Dee Dee Hageman will check back into the game. Wow. With a brace on that knee. And this is the loudest it's been in the wrestling all game long. That's amazing for Dee Dee to be so strong that she comes back into this game. That's a Kobe Mamba mentality right there. Swing around to the corner, inside, feeding Alexander, spinning on Sonano.
trying to get some space. Back cut. Osman can't finish. Rebound, Alexander puts it up and oh. one. And right when I was going to say, Osman has got to make that. All right, I'm cherry picking over your head, taking candy from a baby and going back up for two. Hageman almost poked that one away. A broken play here. Clark for three. Off the back iron. And a foul against Michigan State. Going down the other way if you're guarding Clark. Because if Clark gets that ball back in her hands. Misses the free throw. Speaking of a rare miss, just her second miss on the season. Hits wow. the second. Third quarter. Winding down. McDaniel driving into Martin. Using that pivot foot. Trying to draw the contact too strong. And a tough rebound from Stolke underneath. What a pass from Clark finding a falter. Osmond finds McDaniel. Driving, spinning. What a find. Osmond corner three finishes it. <laughs> Tori Osmond. Fourth of this quarter. And not only are points and buckets good for the offensive game, it's good for Michigan State's defensive game because then they can set in their full court press. Stolke responds. And one. It may have gotten away with one, but that's four on Alexander. Stolke can't hit the free throw. A lot of points scored in this third quarter. It was 32-31 through two quarters, and now it's even at 54. We got a Golden State Warriors type of third quarter. Joyner with the mid-range. Joyner on her. Pass down low, tipped and stolen by Hageman. That's the help the helper defense from Michigan State right there. Extra pass and the layup. Hageman to Osmond to Joyner. Spartans by four. Three second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Hageman on Caitlin Clark. She's come back in and looked well, but if you're Iowa, you would think that they're going to be attacking that matchup. Instead, they won't, and a travel. Picked up a win in their last matchup against the top 10 team over Indiana here back in December. Eck finds Park. She'll throw up a triple. Doesn't fall. That would have taken the roof off of the Breslin oh, yeah. Center. Oh, yeah. But instead, a strong third quarter for Michigan State. They close it well. Kind of Warnock left with an injury. She went to the locker room. She's back on the Iowa bench right now, but has not re-entered the game. Hageman hey. thought about pulling that triple. Hey, I know we got a lot of Golden State Warrior fans out there on the court. They know how Golden State plays the third quarter. Sure seemed like an offensive one. Wraparound pass, Osmond had it taken away by Martin. Hageman just kind of getting in the way, almost caused another Hawkeye turnover. Seriously, Hageman, hands in every passing lane, intercepting passes, reading eyes. Bumping the cutter. Clark with a little bit of space, well short. But a really nice play to save it by Hannah Stolke. Her IQ is so high though, she does not look like a freshman out there. Stolke with the footwork. Can't get it to go, looked like Parks may have gotten a piece of it. Michigan State pushing. Eck, inside Parks, into the contact and finishing. And Sonano back in. See if they go right to it. Instead, they go for Martin. It's tipped away. Martin able to save it back to Clark. Broken possession. Oh. Sonano just too strong down low. Four-point Michigan State lead. Spartans trying to get something going. A lot of back cuts, but nothing yet. Ruers comes to set that screen. Long two for Brooklyn. Ruers got it! Oh. The Spartan bench loves it. Pure for Iowa. It's Caitlin Clark time. She gives it up. They'll set an off-ball screen for her. Trying to get her involved. Down low, Sonano. Tough shot and one. Monica Sonano with ease. And that, that's a good point, Zach, because you know what? Sonano gets positioning and beats you to the block. She's already made the Elbow block. jumper, McDaniel. Some contact, bodies hitting the floor. No whistle either way. Clark pushing, spins inside, and a foul. There was definitely a lot of contact on that side. They let it play, Clark hits them both. McDaniel trying to inbound it, Eck, all alone, triple. Couldn't get the bounce. Clark gets it back, gets a screen. 
Finds Sonano down low, finishing again. We are tied. Executed quite a few score, stop, score sequences in a row now. Hageman struggling to get the ball in. And a five second violation. Caitlin Clark comes around the screen. Driving, looking for space. Now we'll pull it back out with eight on the clock. Feeding Sonano. Tough shot, got it anyways. Wow. Monica Sonano, 10 for 10. Joiner on the drive. Looking for space around Clark. Scoop shot good and we're tied. Caitlin Clark with the basketball. 12 lead changes, seven ties. They're going right to Sonano again. My Gets goodness. the bucket. And Literally has not missed tonight. <laughs> yeah, and it's even when defense is playing good, strong defense. Hands in her face. Hands all over the place trying to bounce that ball away. I was waiting to see if the Spartans would go at her. Alexander into her, and that is five and one. Sonato has fouled out of this game, and Isil and Alexander has a chance to put Michigan State in front. Oh my goodness, look at Alexander's such passion, such hypeness. Everyone on the bench for Michigan State, even Tyre Marks who fouled out herself. She's waving bye. This is huge. This changes the entire game for Michigan State right now with Sonano on the bench. She has not missed all game long, 22 points. She's been killing it, and there's two minutes left now for Michigan State to dominate. Second career double-double for Isil and Alexander and a chance to give Michigan State the lead. The free throw is good. And now remember here, Sonano's out, but we still have Caitlin Clark on the floor. Working on D.D. Hageman, trying to drive. Spinning into the lane, lost the ball, taken away by McDaniel. Two on one for the Spartans. Bounce pass, McDaniel hanging and finishing. The Breslin Center erupts. Timeout, Iowa. 69-66 Spartans. Yes, they did. Martin into the lane. And a block, Alexander in the restricted area. Kate Martin with two free throws. Trying to make this a one point game. Got it. 71%. They've hit their last four. Spartans trying to build on the one point lead. Osmond driving on Stulke into the lane. Can't get the roll, rebound Iowa. Ah, Osmond has got to put that in. I want to see Osmond go up strong off two feet instead of fading a bit off that one with a finesse style layup. Stalky has the advantage trying to get it to Clark and a foul on Hageman off the ball will send Caitlin Clark to the free throw line with a chance to put Iowa in front. Clark hits the first. And that's Six Clark of seven from the line and now seven of eight. One point Iowa lead. Under a minute to go. Kamaria McDaniel driving on Marshall. Tough shot, can't finish it, but will head to the line. Her slashing game, her driving game is her bread and butter. Ties it back up, 70-70, just 47 left to go. Oh. Second one rims out off of Iowa, Michigan State basketball. The Breslin Center holding its breath. 20 on the shot clock. Tie game, 70 apiece between the Spartans and the Hawkeyes. Michigan State just has to find a quality shot here. Joyner, hesitation, driving into the lane, layup too strong. Rebound, Stolke, and a timeout by Iowa. Two seconds between the shot clock and the game clock. You mentioned that this is Marshall's worst season of three-point shooting, so. 39% on her career. Mm -hmm. You also have Stolke out there, the freshman who has a size advantage, but Clark gonna dribble this one down. Guarded by Joyner. Mo Joyner. Defending the All-American. Shot clock at six, Clark goes to work. Spartans double, Clark feeds down low. Stolke blocked by McDaniel. Out of bounds with 1.8 on the shot clock. Well, whether it was just her trying to move it away. Right. Got to get a catch and shoot. They'll get it into Stolke. It's tipped and stolen. And Michigan State with a quick timeout call. They'll advance it and have a chance to win it. 3.2 seconds on the clock. Three seconds. Inbound Eck. Shot. No good. Free basketball in East Lansing. 
70 to 70, Spartans and Hawkeyes. 40, not enough to decide it. Holy smoke. We're gonna tip it up again. <laughs> Between Michigan State and Iowa, this time it's controlled by the Hawkeyes. Caitlin Clark with the basketball. 19, 10, and 7 for the All-American. Gabby Marshall now with it. Gets it over to Clark. Gets the screen. Steps off it. Joiner hounding her. Good defense by the Spartans. Back cut. Davis floater too strong. And a charge! Kamaria McDaniel with the basketball. Driving on Marshall, had it poked out. It'll stay with the Spartans. 15 on the shot clock. Osmond, handoff. McDaniel going right at Marshall again. Into the lane, drawing the contact and finishing. Here comes Clark. Into the lane, into Eck. Draws the foul. Caitlin Clark, seven of eight from the stripe. On a night she struggled from the field, just five of 17, but up to 20 points now on her eighth free throw. Can't wow. get it to go. Rebound, Joiner. McDaniel doesn't take the screen. Goes at Marshall and draws the foul. I'm sure this Michigan State team has heard all about these Hawkeyes coming in with all the hype surrounding them. Yeah. Trying to prove that they can hang. Because of their roster, they or excuse me, not their roster, their schedule. A falter finds Martin. Driving on Eck. Tough shot, doesn't fall. Rebound and a foul is called. You notice the last few minutes of this game have been both teams just putting their heads down, going to the bucket. Exactly, and if you know that's the type of game the refs are calling, then why not shoot a couple from the free throw line without a hand? They can get to the bucket. Osmond, wing three. Got it! Tori Osmond with her second massive triple of the ball game. Spartans by four. Osmond knows what it feels like to hit some big shots. She had the game winner against Purdue a couple years ago. Stolke responds. Stolke at the line. Hits the free throw. Everyone in this building on the edge of their seats with two to play. Eck, floater, well short. Hawkeyes trying to jump back in front. They feed Stolke, able to save it back to a falter. Sigh of relief from that Hawkeye bench. Shot clock at 10, oh. a lot of contact, and a foul against Dee Dee Hageman. She has a chance to give the Hawkeyes the lead. She hits the first. And Iowa's 19 turnovers you saw on the screen just a moment ago, way above their season average. One point lead for Iowa. McDaniel with the basketball. We'll pull it out, triple, no good, rebound Martin. Hageman almost poked it away, but the Hawkeyes now with it. Gotta think they're gonna slow it down and take some clock here. Gets it back, deep three. Well short, out of bounds, rebound to Michigan State with a minute to remain. Clark taps her chest, says that's on me. I'm gonna try and make up for it on the defensive end. 50 seconds, Eck driving. Kicks it out. Osmond on the drive on Stolke. Gets inside, finishes! Osmond gets it to go. Timeout, Iowa. This place is jumping. 11 second difference between the shot and the game clock. Martin with the basketball. They get it to Clark. Ooh. Working on Joyner. Go into the lane, spinning, fade away. Got it! Caitlin Clark. They would still that, have a chance. Yeah, that's why really you want to shoot that ball with about two seconds left so you at least give your teammates a chance to pull down an offensive board like they've been doing all game. McDaniel going at it quickly, trying to find some space, a lot of contact, no whistle. The Hawkeyes come down with it, and Clark is... I mean, McDaniel just absolutely forcing it here, where before I said McDaniel was so focused, she was just completely counting on the foul call. Caitlin Clark gets it to... Fall off the front of the iron. Hageman with the basketball. They're trying to set some action for Eck. Clocks at nine, deep three, Eck, and an air ball. Talking to the officials and what she just said, 
coming over to Calais Enerline is that they are fouling 45 off ball. So they're going to try and send Hannah Stolke to the line. And see if Hannah Stolke, the freshman, can knock down some big free throws. So keep an eye on that. Way to catch that. That's some good lip reading right there. And Tori Osmond <laughs> just pointed over at Ashley Good and said the same thing. Maria McDaniel looks like she might have just got hit a little bit. We're going to wait for an explanation, but I think they're looking to see if, if McDaniel got elbowed. A little bit. You can watch here with the zoom in. Oh. Yeah. I mean, straight up popped in the mouth. Wow, yes, so we do have an intentional foul on number 22, Caitlin Clark, confirmed by the officials. Michigan State will be shooting two and getting the ball back. An intentional foul, two shots, and Michigan State basketball. What a play in this game. Can Kamaria McDaniel hit the free throws? Got the first. She's got to get both. Michigan State will have the ball at half court. Got it. One point game, Spartan ball. What a change in this game. Right when we thought this game might just be over. It's a one point game and they have a chance to win it. That's what happens when some of those emotions get the best of you from the game within the game. It's not just getting the best of some of these athletes. Some of the fans too. Are you going to McDaniel here? I'm going to McDaniel or Eck. They do get it to McDaniel. Four on the clock. McDaniel into the lane. Traveled. She turns it over. Man, and when Michigan State gets an opportunity, they shoot themselves in the foot with it. That has got to hurt for Michigan State. They've done such a good job today at handling and taking care of the basketball. They are going to call a foul. Davis at the free throw line, 78% on the season. First free throws of the night. The Midland Michigan native hits the first. Davis hits the second. McDaniel no timeout. running up the floor. Half court. Can't get the second. It's off the rim. A thriller in East Lansing, and Iowa survives. Eighty-four, eighty-one.